you, you are in many spheres of dentistry, you know, and now you have your your uh, educational program, which we actually helped uh, advertise uh, last month for you. And we will continue to it because our commitment is to biomimetic uh, education. Uh, we just see it um, as so valuable to uh, dentists. How do you, why do you think biomimetics is so important to the everyday, or should be, or maybe can be important to the everyday clinician? What, um... Well, mm, biomimetic, uh, the biomimetic approach is really, uh, uh, I would say, a healthy way of uh, planning your restorative dentistry. It's like, you know, it's like uh, when you are, you have an unhealthy life, um, when you don't eat well, when you don't uh, make good decisions, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's the same in dentistry. Uh, you want to have a healthy dentistry. I think biomimetic dentistry is going to change the way you behave every day. Uh, biomimetic dentistry is really a way of treating teeth. It's really a different approach. It's basically, and for people who ask me for the everyday dentist, you have First, to be in a state of mind where the natural tooth, enamel, dentin, the pulp, is the reference, is the, the creation that was uh, given to you as a model, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. our model. And it starts with that. And so I would like to say every day when I, I look at people's teeth, even a patient comes, you know, for a molar restoration and suddenly I, I see those beautiful incisors with mamelons, with line angles, and they are with, with opalescence. And, and I stop for a second, I'm like, oh. and, and, and you know, my students are like, no, no, we are looking at tooth 14. Say, yes, but pause and enjoy the museum. You are in, you are in front of a piece mm -hmm. of art here. Look at this as a God made tooth that mm -hmm. is given to you to learn and so yeah. you know you have to stop and say okay excuse me dear patient would you allow me to take a, a, a silicone impression of your beautiful teeth <laughs> and then you and then you cut you know it's a state of mind you are okay we are helping patients we are fixing their teeth but we are learning from their teeth also we mm. need to learn from their teeth and when the teeth are intact when the teeth are beautiful when the teeth have those intact morphologic features we need to 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 to, to swallow this knowledge we need to digest all this knowledge and we need to collect information and that's what we've been doing with my brother since inception you know yes. we've been collecting natural dentition watching 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 nature this is biomimetic dentistry. And when you start watching nature and when you start to be in awe of what nature is giving us, then you start thinking different about how to restore that when it's lost and how to replace what is lost and not replace or not destroy what is intact. And this is this is the dream of biomimetic dentistry, right? It's like only, only replace what is diseased or altered and not touch what is intact. We are not yet there because, you know, very often to remove an interdental decay, you need to go through an intact marginal ridge. Well, that's the standard, but sometimes you can go from the side of the tooth with <laughs> oscillating instruments and start uh -huh. to save those important ridge structure, etc. And that's all. And you see, once you start understanding nature, the importance of a marginal ridge on a molar, then it drives you to think, how can I save that? And then I'm going to get those oscillating tip and go by the side of the tooth to keep that ridge intact. So now I am more biomimetic. And these are the concepts that are born from the biomimetic. Uh, some people have been doing biomimetics forever, but they never put mm -hmm. a name on it, you know. Yes. And I'm thinking yeah. about about Burkhard Hugo. Burkhard Hugo was, was a young dentist in Germany. He died very young, unfortunately, uh, you know, but he invented the oscillating tips with cavo back then. And those oscillating tips are amazing, amazing, amazing. And in America, <laughs> Uh, you know, we are, uh, there is a, a world to introduce these oscillating tips. And this is one of the first thing, you know, at USC, when I, I went there, we we got calcet, we got 
oscillating tips, we got electric hand pieces and, and all these uh, devices that will are basically a result of our passion and love for nature and say we have to keep intact all those structures when we open a tooth how can we do that yes so then yeah so it's a state of mind huh? uh, in biomimetics so i'm talking about worshiping nature god's creation <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well Amen. worship worship god first but then <laughs> look at his yeah. creation and and copy and that's the word bio emulation bio mimetic mm. mimic copy that nature with the materials we have 